Welcome to e-learning. This time it's about simple forces and how to apply the properties of vectors when solving a problem. Remember, force is a vector. In problem one, we have to determine the forces in the members and we are talking about the beam VA and the cable CA. And the mass M has a weight of 40 Newton. And we can assume that the weight of the cable and the beam can be neglected. Please note that angle C is 45 degrees. As shown in the lesson, I start with sketch up uh, the reality with the 45 degree angle and the weight 40 Newton. And then I move over to draw a model that shows the forces. And you can see here, this is more or less the same as this one. But now I have uh, weight equals 40 Newton, and I have an arrow pointing down. Now I use the principles of a force to extend the line CA in its line of action, like this. The next thing I do is I parallel displace BA like this. What I did was that I extended CA in its line of action and I furthermore parallel displaced BA. And all of that is legal according to principles of a vector. And remember, force is a vector. So what is left now is to do the calculations. And it's a right triangle, so we use the Sokotoa. So I have uh, drawn the triangle again and I have listed up the Sokotoa and putting on angle 45 for C and of course this angle C is 45 so is A because this is a right triangle so here lies 90 degrees and over here there's 40 Newton and that is the weight. So when I have to look for which formula of the Sokotoa I should choose I stand in the angle and look and I can see that I can find VA using tangent opposite adjacent because opposite of angle C lies BA and I have the adjacent side W. I have written up the formula to use and it was tangent and in order to get BA to stand alone, I must times with W on both sides, here and here. Now BA stands alone, and I can fill in the values. So W was the 40 newtons. And then I have to take tangent to angle C, and we remember that angle C was 45. So using a calculator, I get that the forces in the member BA is equal to 40 newtons. I now have to find the CA, and I can either do it by using Pythagorean theorem, or I can use cosine C. Because, as you remember, the adjacent side to C was W, and CA is the hypotenuse, and that's called for cosine. So what I get is that I get that CA is 56.6 newtons.